Welcome back to Matt Tomorrow. So today we're going to be again considering a geometric series from the uh, last few videos. So um, let's just dive right in. So we're given a geometric series where the first term A is 3 and A of 3 is 4 thirds and we're asked to find the fifth term. So the third term is 4 thirds. We know the first term, fifth term. All right. So let's start by writing our generic formula. A equals, um, sorry, A of N equals A times R to the N minus 1, right? Well, we can start subbing in our values, right? Because we know a is three, right? And we we know uh, we have to uh, first start by substituting in a of three, so that like um, we can then find out um, the other values because we need to still find r. But w uh, with our information with a of three, we can find it out, all right? So a of three is four thirds. So we just substitute a of n, which is going to be a of three with four over three, with uh, n equals three. So it'll be three times r squared, right? So then we divide each side by 3, right? This will become 4 over 9 equals r squared. And then this can become plus or minus 2 over 3. Well, from what we're given, we can't really find out whether it's positive 2 thirds or negative 2 thirds because both will work and both will find a 4 thirds. Well, both will um, equate to 4 thirds when you put them into the equation. So uh, really, there's no way to find that. But um, with the information we're currently given, but we don't really need that because uh, we're asked to find the fifth term, right? A of 5, right? You, you'll see why this makes sense. Equals 3 times um, plus or minus 2 thirds, right? To the power of n minus 1, right? n here is 5. So, 5. Well, what is 5 minus 1? That's equal to 4, right? So, well, uh, what does that mean? That means that you, despite what we take, two-thirds or negative two-thirds or two-thirds, it doesn't really matter because if you take it to um, um, an even power, it's going to give you the same answer, right? Like if you take negative one squared or one squared, this is both going to give you one. So uh, we don't really need that. So that's great for us. So a of 5 equals 3 times. We can assume any one for now. So let's just take two-thirds just for it to be easier. 2 thirds to the 4th power, right? So then a of 5 equals 3 times uh, 2 to the 4th is, well, 3 to the 4th is 81, 2 to the 4th is 16, right? So this is correct, right? 9, nine squared, and then this is 4 squared, yeah. And then uh, we can just divide this out for simplicity. So we become 27, 27 times 3 is 81, yeah. So a of 5 equals 16 over 27. That's our final answer. Thank you. Hope you learned something.